Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today we're going to do a Microsoft Outlook 365 video where we're going to create some uh, calendar events and then I'm going to show you a list view and I'm going to show you how to filter by category in this list view and then I'm going to show you how to print out that list. So basically the four steps. So firstly, let's create some events. Okay, let's create. Um, so today is the 13th of May, right? 13th of May, which is uh, here. That's today. So let's say that from tomorrow, every Saturday, I'm going to go rock climbing. Okay, so I'm going to go double click on tomorrow and I'm just going to click on rock climbing. Right, and I'm going to do it every Saturday. So I'm going to go recur every week, uh, weekly, and after, let's say I'm going to do it uh, 10 times. All right, so I'm going to save that. So I'm going rock climbing every Saturday. All right, then I'm going to go dancing every Wednesday. So I'm going to go double click on Wednesday again. And I'm going to go uh, swing dancing every Wednesday night. Uh, every Wednesday night at 6. All right. Recurrence. Uh, recur every week. And after, let's say, 7. It's a 7-week course. Save. Okay. So I got swing dancing. I got rock climbing. Maybe let's do something else. Okay, let's say Monday night I go to the gym. Okay, double click Monday night. Uh, Monday night, let's go five o'clock, go to the gym. And I'm just going to do this every week, Monday and Saturday. Uh, Monday, and, Monday and Thursday. All right, end after or end by, let's say... October this year. Okay, sounds good. All right, so these are all my calendar events all created. So the next thing I want to do is put these in categories. Now, the reason why you want categories is because let's say that rock climbing and gym you're going to put under the category exercise, swing dancing you want to put under recreation, you want to put things in categories. If you had work events, maybe you have a work category, things like that. So obviously I've already created the event, but when you're creating an event, if you want the category, you could put it here. All right. But I have already created the event, so I'm going to turn them into a category. So just click on right click on it, or you can just click on it, left click on it, categorize, and you can choose a category. Uh, you can also, let's say I put it as a red category these all turn red but if I don't want it if I don't want to call it red I can go to all categories and I can change the name so I can go rename and I call it um, exercise okay so I got the exercise category for rock climbing and gym so I'm gonna go uh, click on gym categorize uh, exercise okay in swing dancing I'm not gonna set a category for that yet uh, because well we don't need to for the tutorial but you can if you want okay so now I have an exercise category I got the swing dancing which does not have a category okay so now let's try and get all these appointments done uh, viewed as a list so let's go to view now and let's go to change view and go to list. So you can see here that this is the list of events. I'm going to close the calendar uh, panel because it's not really needed. Okay, so now let's have a look at this list. There are events from here that are from 2020. Okay, we're now in 2022. So 2020, what I had for dinner, all that, when I went to sleep, just forget it. How do I get rid of it? 
Okay, so you're going to right click on the page somewhere, go to filter, and then we're going to go to advanced. And where it says define more criteria, we're going to choose a field. So I'm going to choose a date time field created. And I want to only have events that I created recently. So let's go condition. Uh, is condition is on or after and I'm going to say 20. 1st of January 2022 and I'm going to go add to list click OK and now only events that I have created this year is on um, on the page on the list. OK, the next thing I want to show you is how to filter by categories. So you can see here I got events from every category. I just want the exercise category now. OK, to make it more obvious, let's say I'm going to put this in the uh, so you can right click on it and I'm going to put this in the yellow category, put this in the blue category. I just want the red category now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right click, uh, filter again, and I'm going to go into uh, more choices, categories, and I'm only going to click exercise. So now only the exercise category is showing. And the last step is to print this out. So I'm going to go into file, print, and I'm going to choose table style. Make sure you choose table style. And you can see you have now these two events on your page. And you can simply print it out to either a PDF or your printer. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.